this giant vacuum chamber at the Ad Astra company's Houston headquarters, technicians are testing the variable specific impulse magnetoplasma rocket, called VASIMER for short. That exhaust is low density plasma, so we can contain it pretty well here in the chamber. Physicist Christopher Olson uses instruments to measure the flow of ionized particles produced by heating a gas to very high temperatures. We can measure the ion velocity, we can measure the ion flux, the force, uh, the temperature coming out of it. There's a lot of different parameters that we have the ability to, to, uh, to look into. The inventor of Vesmer is Ad Astra President and Chief Executive Officer Franklin Chang Diaz. It's a rocket which works on the basis of plasma. Uh, plasma being a superheated gas, a gas that's been heated to temperatures close to the, to the temperatures of the sun. See this uh, assemblies here are antennas that actually inject the electromagnetic waves which uh, transform this gas into the plasma. Chang Diaz says a gas so hot cannot be contained by any known material, so something else is used to contain and direct the flow. We use the magnetic field as the enclosure, as the, uh, the ducting uh, that actually guides this very hot gas um, and produces rocket propulsion. The plasma propulsion is not used to launch a payload into space. A conventional chemical rocket would be used for that. Once in space, the plasma engine and the solar panels that power it would be assembled. Chang Diaz says one big advantage of this propulsion system is the relatively small amount of fuel it uses. Because the specific impulse of this rocket is much higher, the amount of fuel required to carry out a certain task is that much less. Franklin Chang Diaz, who was born and raised in Costa Rica, flew on seven U.S. space shuttle missions. He launched Ad Astra after he retired from NASA in 2005, but the company continues a close association with the U.S. Space Agency. Mission planners at the nearby Johnson Space Center see Vesmer as a possible means of getting astronauts to Mars without exposing them to as much harmful cosmic radiation as they would get on a conventional rocket journey lasting many months. Chang Diaz says replacing solar panels with a nuclear reactor would provide the necessary power to Vesmer for a much faster trip to the Red Planet. The marriage of the engine to the nuclear reactor will deliver to you a spacecraft that can go very fast. And we can do uh, missions to Mars, which would be about 39 days one way. Such a mission is still many years away, but Chang Diaz says his rocket could be used much sooner for missions to the International Space Station or to retrieve or position satellites in Earth orbit. In a few years, under a contract with NASA, Ad Astra plans to send a Vasimir engine to the International Space Station for testing. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Houston.